Hello Booktube. So it's been a while. Um, about two months ago I posted a video that I um, had made two years ago, but it's actually been about a year since I've made any original content and I don't quite have an excuse. My mental health has been good. Um, haven't been that busy with school or work, so I've just kind of needed a hiatus from booktube, so I took one, unofficially. <laughs> um, but I am back now, and yes, I am wearing the same outfit as I was in my last video, an attempt to subconsciously trick you into thinking that less time has passed. Um, is it working? Don't let me know the answer to that. Uh, <laughs> um, today I'm going to talk about books that I am currently reading and books that I hope to be reading in the very near future. Uh, yeah, I have not been reading a ton, if I'm perfectly honest. I was in a bit of a reading slump and I just was focusing on other things and um, yeah, but now I'm back and I'm going to try to fix that because I have a little bit of a break from school for a little while and so not like the whole summer off or anything, but um, I've got like about a week and so I'm going to try to cram some reading into there and um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So the first book that I have here is Killers of the Flower Moon, and this is by David Graham about the Osaji murders and the birth of the FBI. Now I know this is about uh, Native American history and a solving a murder, and again the birth of the FBI. Um, so I anticipate that I will both love or hate this. I do not enjoy mysteries, but I really do enjoy Native American history, um, and this seems to be a mixture of both, so I don't know where I'm going to fall on this whole spectrum thing. Um, this is my book club pick for June, um, and I really need to, like, <laughs> the way it works, the way I do book club is um, if we decide to, we decide several months in advance what to read and everyone, anyone can nominate a book and then we vote and decide on who gets to pick. Um, I, if we pick a book that I just don't think I'm going to enjoy, I just don't read it, but I show up anyways to the book club and I haven't read like the past three books. <laughs> So I have to read this book or else I'm just going to be the member who like never reads the book at book club but turns up anyways. So I don't want to be that one lazy member so I have to like start doing something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like um, so I really have to read this book um, and then I have to have like lots of insights and I have to sound super smart because um, this round they did not pick any of... Um, my picks for um for any of our monthly reads and i'm a little bit like insulted by that i kind of um i um and uh so i really want to like impress them with my literary knowledge and insight um even though this is nonfiction, um i really want to impress them so that uh they'll listen to what i have to say and i'll be like hey we should read the President's Gardens, or we should read Birdie, or we should read all these awesome books. They'll be like, yeah, Chanel, oh, you're, you're such a smart person. Oh my gosh, your literary opinion is so masterful and, and insightful, and oh my gosh, of course we'll read those books. And then that way I don't have to suffer through reading, like, a terrible, terrible book that I would never read anyways. Although that's Let's be honest, I wouldn't read the book, but I would pretend to, and then I would get myself in hot water. It's just, it's a mess, okay? It's a mess. So this next book is one that I just finished reading about two weeks ago, and it's called Ross Poldark, and it's, um, and it kind of got me out of a reading slump. It's in the Poldark reading, um, Poldark series. It's by Winston Graham. There's currently a show on, uh, I think it's the BBC and PBS, um, BBC Three and PBS, um, uh, based off of the books, and um, I really like the show and I really like the books. Um, it's really, it's about a, um, 
it's about a red coat soldier during the American Revolution, um, and he is in America, and he is very dissatisfied with a, a soldier's life, and um, he comes back home after being gone for years. He comes from the Cornwall, and he finds that his father has died, and his lands are in disarray. He oh, he has inherited basically nothing. And the, his childhood sweetheart, who, who he was engaged to, uh, is now engaged to his cousin. So um, it's kind of how he picks his life back up and he opens a mine and creates jobs. And it's all about kind of the displacement that comes from this time period because he's a member of the gentry, but he's almost destitute. So he kind of is in this like weird nebulous region where he like comes from money and comes from privilege and comes from wealth and yet currently has none of those things. <laughs> um, so there's a bit of a clash between like the novel rich, the new rich and the old money. And um, it's really interesting and um, yeah, I just devoured it. I read it within like a day. Um, and I'm currently reading the second book in the series, the second book, which is called Demelza. Um, and I won't tell you what it's about because there are spoilers for the first book, but, um, let me just say that, um, it's about one of my favorite characters. So, um, yeah, these books are, um, like they make it sound, they make it look like I'm reading like a trashy romance novel or something like that because they just have like a picture of a person staring on the front of the cover, but um, uh, but they actually are quite literary. <laughs> um, if anyone's interested in me doing like a full review for um, for those books, um, let me know because um, I really I really do enjoy the Poldark Dark series, and there's like eight of them or something like that. I don't know, um, but. Uh, they're pretty good books. So this next book that I'm reading, I'm not going to show it because it has, um, I got it from an uh, alternate library, so I had to, um, so they put my full name on it and, like, my, like, social security number. Not really, but, like, you know what I mean. Um, it's called The Wedding by Dorothy, Re Dorothy West, um, right here, and it's about a, um, very rich colored family, um, in the 1960s, um, in Martha's Vineyard, and, um, about a, um, a black woman who has blonde hair who is marrying a white jazz musician and sort of the um, inner family drama that comes with that. Um, it's kind of slow going. This was last month's book, um, book club pick and I didn't finish it. <laughs> I kind of started it like three hours before book book club was supposed to start and I'm like I'll, I'll finish this don't worry and uh yes uh that did not uh, go according to plan I just like kind of dozed off and I was like well I'll just read like half of it and it'll be okay yeah so um that's another book I'm reading and honestly at this point I'm just reading it just to finish it Next book is one that I've been hoping to get to for a while, and it's Born with a Tooth by Joseph Boyden. This is his collection of st short stories. Uh, last year I read The Arenda by Joseph Boyden, and it was like the best book I read of 2018. Um, I absolutely loved it, and I think I want to reread it this year. Um, I also want to reread lots of other books by Joseph Boyden. He writes primarily about like indigenous people and um, or indigenous Canadian people, and although I have read a few problematic reports about um, his, um, him, um, not being of indigenous heritage, but claiming to be, and so that's a little confusing, um, but I've heard conflicting things about that, so if anyone has any insight into that, please let me know, because I would like to, um, I would like to know where to place him, because he is a good author, but if he's, like, appropriating people's culture, I do not want to support that. Um, yeah, so, uh, I'm looking to maybe pick up these when I just need something that I just know is going to be good. Next we have Women Who Run With the Wolves, Myths and Stories of the Wild Woman Archetype uh, by Clarissa Pincola Estes. Um, yeah, so this is a book that I've just been meaning to read for like quite some time. I don't know totally what it's about, but like I think it's going to be really good. Also there's a feminist book club that I've been meaning to go to that um, is reading this book this month and I think um, I would really like to discuss it with them. I'm particularly interested in this because like I don't know when we talk about like women's role in history like it's always like 
seems like it only goes back to like 100 years or something like that. So I'm really interested in smearing like a more ancient, um, a more ancient idea of women's roles and women's work and, um, and uh, stories about women. I think it's going to be really interesting and really fascinating. Okay, so this is the last book I have, and it's The Island of Sea Women um, by Lisa C. So um, this is another book that my book club, I think we picked it for like um, maybe August or something like that. It's about Korean women who are divers. And in um, this small like coastal community, it's the women who are the providers and who work as divers. And they are responsible for um, uh, bringing in the income. And the men are responsible for the home and the chil and the children, and so um, it's kind of this like reverse um, gender, or it's kind of like this gender swap, and it um, creates all these like interesting like um, like interesting microcosms and things like that. And uh, so uh, this takes place from like I think it's like nineteen twenties through like the Korean War, so like nineteen sixties and things like that. So. Um, uh, over a couple different um, generations and I've heard it's really good so I'm really looking forward to it and I think um, if I have time yeah so this is just something where it's like if I have time I'll get to it but like I might not have time but I really like reading about divers ever since I read Manhattan Beach last year um, by Jennifer Egan which is um, right here um, and that was about a woman in World War II who was determined to become a diver despite the fact that it was not open to women and she did it anyways. And uh, yeah, it was, um, this was a really beautiful book too. I think I might reread this soon because I've just been like, you know when you get like a craving for a certain book? Like, like you get a craving for food or something like that? Um, yeah, I've just been craving this book, so I might reread it soon, um, and maybe even give an updated review, because I, I wasn't too eloquent in my last review, as many of you pointed out, not so helpfully, by the way, but, um, <laughs> um, yeah, I could, anyways, that's all, folks, um, I could apologize for my absence, but I'm not going to, because it's okay to have a life outside of booktube, and, uh, hopefully you'll be hearing from me soon, and let me know if any of these books you'd like me to review, and, I hope you all have a good day. Doi!